My best friend was there. That's why we did this. And she got bit too. Now we know. We didn't know what to do. So. She says. Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right Swear now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. His eyes went to the right. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Alright, wrong way. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So what did we say? Nine years? Nine years ago. I don't know if it was around this time or whatever, but nine years ago. That shit smacked. Real hard. And... Like, knowing from, knowing where, knowing where these characters go and how they become the people that they become and kind of, I'm kidding what I'm going to call the midpoint of the Last of Us trilogy because I don't believe for a second that they have, they are not working on the new one, the new one. so much to take in okay here we go look people say people are salty because you know you're, you're charging for a remaster of a game that is nine years old at this point um, and the question that everybody wants to know or the answer everybody wants to know is is it worth that price point and why what 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 that really means to me is does naughty dog and the developers deserve to charge full price for a remastered version of of their previous game of a previous game um how is it justified is it worth 70 bucks justify this product for me right and for as someone who who primarily loves gaming for the narrative sense the scope and feel of the atmosphere that you are experiencing for the next 10 15 hours is paramount to what you are kind of like what you what you're gonna get out of this experience if you're gonna buy cod you're gonna become a multiplayer fanatic or you're gonna play the ca campaign and that's gonna justify your 70 dollar purchase or x amount of thing i understand i'm one of the very few people who just see 
things in this in this way but seeing how far we have advanced from nine, nine years ago is worth 70 bucks <laughs> that's weird it's like putting a price point on my life and it's kind of sad but <laughs> or my lifespan <laughs> But it's it's um it's crazy because because specifically that scene at the end right there because everything is so perfectly animated and you have these hyper realistic representations of what a human soul is projecting it's worth that seventy dollar price point. Cause oh, sh cause like seeing seeing their faces zoomed in and clearly for a second, don't Ellie is a intelligent female character woman whatever. She knows he's lying. She knows shit went down, and sh and she's asking him whatever you say happens. Swear to me. Like whatever you say happen, we'll we'll go with that. But it's like it's like a promise that we're tr that I'm trying to to make right now. And and yeah, man. Because him straight up lying, you know, and they like yeah, it, it's exactly what I'm saying happened. It. it He's he, he's his face his face is plain straight up normal, and then you see his eyes dart to the right, and that's something that never happened in two thousand and nine, or whatever year it was two thousand thirteen. Um, so that right there, that's that is that presentation of art. How how creative can this team how creative can a development team be if they're allowed to invest in their vision It's been nine years since this thing came out. 2013 is what we're saying. Nine-ish nine years about to maybe be ten. A, a decade of history with this game. <laughs> and... Although it's not like, say, the biggest jump in graphics or, or even like performance or whatever it's not like the biggest jump in the universe especially since we already had the remastered edition i don't think it takes away from how how well developed this product is and at the end of the day if 70 bucks is what it takes for naughty dog to create even more memories more historical moments stories Classics? Who am I to deny a team with passion? So, yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I felt it in the wallet. But whatever, man. It's, it's, it's an investment for a reason. <sighs> but <laughs> it's crazy. It's just, we're all just coming back here. And, uh,. Yeah, it's been a wild ride, man. It's crazy to think about what's happened and how different the landscape is now from what it used to be back then. Because again, like, if this kid was the one that kind of triggered that sense of, uh, oh no, uh, video game s stories or video game, um, products presentations are a, a media that can 
surpass multiple barriers, multiple boundaries. There's so much investment that goes into creating a project like this that it's it's natural to just kind of <laughs> really need to put it in collateral. But you know, it's it, like I said, it's it's worth everybody's own opinion, and you can value life at whatever price point you want to give it and all that but it's 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 incredible dude i i never I, I never cease to be amazed at how much we are doing and how far we're, we're we keep on pushing things and that's something that i love so much about humans and the sense of creativity that we all kind of carry that that i guess is for me is is fully realized in, in something like this um, you know, a, a medium where you have cinematic storytelling, uh, orchestral music sounds, and top-notch, like, say, developed systems that run and operate a game that you have created. And with the artwork of something like this, you know, it, it's all of it together really is a, a gift. Real talk, a gift. And, uh, I just hope that, uh, not just not hope, but I know that in the future, it, it, things are only going to get more crazier and awesomer and cooler and all that. Um, I think the scary point is 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 uh, thinking how expensive can these things get, and and like I understand that you know ten bucks more is ten bucks more. I'm telling you, I feel it. But it, it's the idea of how much are we going to keep investing in on this and so that's the scary side of things but i also understand that there is no way to stop this 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 creativity from growing and that's the part that really gets me excited all the technological like advancements that we're going to be making and um being able to kind of like put a a a point to point on the timeline of ps3 last of us to ps5 last of us gives me a good sense of uh framing of how much advancement we are we we really can be making in those in that time period the, the nine ten years of, of uh, technological technological growth and all that but yeah that's pretty much it man i i'm feeling better <laughs> emotions are really high on that moment because again like Oh my god, I played that in 2003 and all that, and it's it's just one of those feelings of, like, nostalgia pain, I guess. Because I've, I've in, my, in my mind's eye, I remember that scene a certain way, because it's, you know, history, historical events to me, but seeing it reinvigorated here blew my mind, and that's that's cool that's the shit that i like <laughs> so uh i don't know that's about it man thank you very much i know i've been going on a tangent but hey dude i i just freaking adore games you know i just can't i just do it is what it is <laughs> so about that uh with all that that is gonna wrap up the last of us part one on the playstation 5 let me know what you guys thought real talk i think there's so much here to digest and kind of take in and real talk the reason i really wanted to do this was because i feel like even if people weren't down to to pay the 70 70 bucks i still need people to see what this is because it's it was beautiful and shout out to naughty dog you know neil Druckmann, the head of the team and Sony, everybody out there that is putting in the love, the passion, the effort to create stories. Stories that impact, dude. Like, you know, I love movies. I love movies so much. And and right here with Sony, we've been... Nolan is David. Oh, that was Nolan North as David. Oh... Oh yeah, that was him. <laughs> I told you they're all best friends. I told you. Laura Bailey, there you go. See, Laura Bailey, Steve Bloom. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, man. It's, it's been good. Uh... 
I think the question now, and it's pretty greedy, right? Because we just finished the game and we're like, oh, what's next? But I think the question now is, where would we go from here with um, Naughty Dog and The Last of Us and all that? Because if we look down the production line, I believe Naughty Dog is still working on that that Last of Us Factions multiplayer game. But they did say that they wanted to release it as a standalone. So I believe that's being developed. And I want to say, for the talk, the reason this game was made is because they're putting all this graphical power and, 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 and design and structure into the multiplayer version. Whether or not the multiplayer version will be the same exact um, factions game as it was back in the, in the original, or whether it will be like a revamped, uh, like I said, standalone open world type of multiplayer online game is is up in the air but i think the latter would be a really cool idea and we can see you know like we're still growing and we can see a new version of this that more people that might be into it i'm thinking like a battle royale real talk <laughs> factions battle royale so that seems likely that that's going to be the next thing that we're going to announce and i think there's been rumors of an uncharted remaster like the original uncharted being remade uh like this or whatever so that one might actually be pretty cool that one could definitely use some some uh new next gen establishment and stuff but uh, yep that's that's about it and then like i said i do believe they're working on a part three last of us part three but we won't probably see that for another four or five years maybe We'll see.